Hello back again on the Top Recap channel. This time I will tell a Korean movie entitled Coin Locker Girl. Let's get straight into the storyline. The story begins with a homeless man who finds a baby in a subway station locker. The baby was named Il Young because she was found in locker number 10. Young grows up and lives with other homeless people in the subway station. Until one day, a policeman raided the homeless and kidnapped Young to be sold to a loan shark. The loan shark is named Wu He, commonly called Mother. Mother runs various jobs ranging from loan sharks, illegal foreign labor suppliers, and other illegal activities. Mother was known as a ruthless loan shark. She lends money to people at a very high interest rate, and if the person cannot repay the debt, Mother does not hesitate to kill them and take their organs. Young and other children were employed as beggars at the train station. However, they were considered useless and thrown out on the streets. <laughs> Young then met a child who was also abandoned by mother and invited the child to return to mother's house. And eventually, they were allowed to stay at mother's house. One day, Young was invited by mother to go to work. On the way, Young saw a dog dying. Mother mercilessly killed the dog and told Young that if she was no longer useful, she would have the same fate as the dog. A few years later, Young grew up and she was assigned by mother to be a debt collector at a gambling establishment. Young collected a debt from a man who was gambling. Instead of paying his debt, the man belittled Young and hit her with an ashtray. Young also played the voice of the man's wife, who was being held captive. The man finally got scared and Young told him to gamble with a big bet. After the man won the bet, Young took the money and hit the man with an ashtray as an interest payment for his debt. <laughs> Young has grown into a fearless girl thanks to mother's upbringing. Besides Young, mother has three other children, Wu Gan, Song, and Hong Ju. One night, Young got an assignment to collect a debt from a man where the man's father owed her mother a lot of money. So this man had to bear the debt of his father, who went abroad. The next day, Young went to collect the man's debt. And when the door opened, a man named Seok Hyun kindly invited Young into his house. Seok Hyun also offered Young a drink and made her some food. Seok Hyun then promised to pay his father's debt since his father was working hard overseas. Young asked why Seok Hyun believed that his father would return. Seok Hyun smilingly answered why he should distrust his own father. At that time Seok Hyun tried to treat Young's injured face, but Young didn't like it and left immediately. On the way home, mother called Young and asked if Young had gotten the money yet, and for the first time, Young lied to mother. Young said that there was no one in the house, then Young came to a nightclub because Song was causing trouble. When she arrived, Song beat up a woman who refused to pay her debt. <laughs> Young checked Song's hand who was already drunk, and sure enough, Song was under the influence of drugs. While leaving, Young met a man named Chido, who was a club owner and drug dealer. Young threatened Chido not to sell drugs to Song. The next day, Young returned to Seok Hyun's house because Seok Hyun didn't pick up his phone. Young barged in, thinking Seok Hyun had run away, but Seok Hyun called and told Young to come to his workplace. Young then came to Seok Hyun's workplace and waited for him to finish his work. When his work was done, Seok Hyun took Young to the movies. Seok Hyun also paid some of his debts. While at the movie theater, Young accidentally falls asleep on Seok Hyun's shoulder and the seeds of love grow between them. After watching, they went for a drink. There, Seok Hyun tells Young about his dark childhood and his aspirations to become a great chef. Seok Hyun also said he wanted to study cooking in France, but because the ticket price was costly, Seok Hyun could not realize his dream. <laughs> Young then drove a very drunk Seok Hyun to his house. Not long after that, mother called Young, making her go home immediately. Arriving home, Song suspected something was up with Young. The next day, Song took Young to shop for women's accessories. Young was interested in a white dress displayed in the store. And without thinking, Song immediately bought Young the dress. And when she got home, Young asked Song to take a picture of her wearing the dress. Song asked why Young suddenly wanted a passport photo. Instead of answering, 
Young asked if France was far away. Song was confused by what Young meant. Meanwhile, Wu Gan is seen coming to Seok Hyun at his workplace. Without further ado, he immediately beat Seok Hyun and collected his father's debt. He gave him until tonight to pay his debts. Mother then invited Young to go collect the debt. What a surprise when mother tells her to kill Seok Hyun so that his organs can be sold to pay off his father's debt. To carry out the task, Young will be assisted by Hong Ju. Although Hong Ju has mental disabilities, if mother has ordered him to kill someone, he will kill that person no matter what. Young told Hong Ju to count to 100 before going to Seok Hyun's place. Young immediately went to Seok Hyun's house and told Seok Hyun to leave immediately. She also gave Seok Hyun a plane ticket and told him to leave Korea for safety. But Seok Hyun didn't believe Young's words. And at the same time, Hong Ju arrived. Hong Ju immediately recognized Seok Hyun and prepared to kill him. <laughs> Young was forced to beat Hong Ju unconscious. They immediately ran away, but their escape was stopped because they were caught by Dr. An and his men. Dr. An is in charge of operating and selling the organs of people who owe mother. It wasn't long before mother came to the place. With all her strength, Young tried to stop mother, who would kill Seok Hyun. But Young, who was still under the influence of the anesthetic, could not do anything to help Seok Hyun, who was immediately killed by mother. Mother immediately slashed Seok Hyun's neck until finally, Seok Hyun died before Young's eyes. Then Dr. An took a knife and was going to kill Young, but mother forbade him and told Dr. An to send Young to Chido. When she woke up, Young was in a container with some girls. Apparently, Chido will send them to Japan to be used as prostitutes. On one occasion, Young took a knife from her jacket and cut Chido's eye, and immediately fled. Despite being chased, Young managed to jump into the sea and escape the pursuit of Chido's men. The next day, mother, who was looking at Young's picture, received a call from Chido, who reported that Young had escaped. Mother then told her other children not to do anything until she gave the order. Elsewhere, the man who sold Young to mother gets an order from Chido to find and kill Young. Then Hong Ju, who was still emotional, wanted to take revenge on Young. He didn't care about mother's orders. He even threatened to kill Song if Song protected Young. Not long after, Song got a call from Young, but because Hong Ju was beside her, she pretended to get the wrong number. At night, Song secretly left the house, but by coincidence, she met Dr. An, who asked her to think carefully about what she would do. Young then went to the stall that she often went to. The owner's uncle gave Young something. He said that Song was waiting at the baseball field. Elsewhere, mother killed Chido because Chido asked for compensation for the eye that Young hurt. Soon, Young came to the baseball field, but she didn't see Song there, and when she was about to leave, Hong Ju appeared before her. Young tried to apologize, but an emotional Hong Ju continued to chase and beat Young. <laughs> And when Young was about to be killed, Wu Gan came to stop Hong Ju. And they fought until they both died in front of Young. Young was deeply saddened by the loss of his two brothers, and suddenly someone hit him on the head, knocking her unconscious. In a stupor, Young remembered the good times when she ate with mother and her three siblings. They seemed to get along very well despite not being related by blood. Soon, Young regained consciousness and was in the trunk of a car, and when she was about to be killed, Young fought back and managed to grab the gun of the person who wanted to kill her. In the end, for the first time, Young killed someone. Young called mother and told her that Wu Gan and Hong Ju were dead. Mother was silent as she heard that. Young said that she would come to kill mother. After hanging up, mother took a drink and said she was useless. Elsewhere, Song was very sorry for framing Young, and after taking drugs, she slashed her wrists and died. Then mother went to the locker where Young was first found. Mother then put something there. Mother then prepared to wait for Young's arrival while eating her food. Not long after Young arrived, mother told her to eat first. 
Mother seemed to have accepted her death at Young's hands as Young stabbed her. Mother forbade Young to pull out the knife. Before she died, Mother apologized and gave the locker key to Young. <laughs> Young now takes Mother's place. While checking the locker, she found a certificate showing Mother had adopted Young. Mother also changed Young's first name to her first name. Then Young memorialized Mother's death, and with that, the movie was over. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment.